So Glenn's objective, the title of his uh, speech in the volume was Speaking in Praise. And he spoke about John Lucas and Pixar. Some of the objectives, some of the ob objectives are to prepare a speech praising or honoring someone, living or dead, and then address five areas concerning the individual and or his accomplishments, and include some anecdotes and illustrating points. So one of the points of evaluation is how well did the speech suit the occasion? So Glenn gave a very informative and educational speech, and that suited this occasion very well for me personally, and I suspect for everybody else, because I don't know that much about the inner workings of Pixar or animated movies or John Lucas. So the speech that Glenn gave was very information dense, but the setting required that because I don't really know John Lucas from George Lucas at first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think you might have said John Lucas. I got, see, I didn't know all the information provided enabled me to more evaluate the, the praise you were giving, and I think that was good. The most effective parts, again, were the, all the information in there, because if you're talking about someone who's more well-known, it's assumed the audience knows some of the points that you're trying to make, but it was effective because he really laid on what this guy has done. He, in his field, he has accomplished a lot. The speaker is asked to use and identify and illustrate the individual's qualities, accomplishments, impact on society, etc. Et and again, Glenn included a lot of those um, examples of how John has, has done those things. And some specific examples like the melding of the modern movie with its technology and the old silent movies in the, uh, in the example he gave where there is a, a 34 minute beginning with no words. Also his Glenn statement that you know the kids understand it but the adults can appreciate it. That, that's a, a praiseworthy feature. I thought one thing he could have done to make it more effective, it's clear that Miss that John has accomplished a lot, but maybe to come from our perspective and give a little more information on how, how, how that has affected us or what difference that makes in our life. He did make good, Glenn did make good use of laying out John's accomplishments. 11 movies, 11 hits, 10 Academy Awards, I think he said $10 billion in gross. 10 something, gotta be more than 10 million, but that, that's impressive, those are big numbers. Another point is how well the speaker used stories and anecdotes. So you did it on a surface level with specific examples and you did it on a more theoretical level. Um, the, some of the examples were more general, but an example of the, the surface level you talked about, uh, what's a good example? I lost my example, but on the theoretical level, talking about how, you know, the, the characters grow and change. If you're ever going to write, they say, you know, make sure, make sure your character, something happens to them and they change. Apparently John has done that in his movies and Glenn was, was observant to point that out. Other things that could possibly be done even though there was so much going on there. Perhaps setting the scene a little more for the accomplishments of Pixar, maybe what was going on before and how that has changed. Glenn did some, had some great language in there, something about revitalizing a moribund genre. And then later, uh, he said succinctly summarized. I thought those were good. So he, he was, the speech was full of examples. We learned a lot. This is a speech that needs to be tailored to the audience, and I think Glenn did a very good job of that. <laughs>